Hey love bugs, this is Nikki from Call Me Ruby and I pray you're having an amazing day, evening, whenever you find yourself seeing this message. I pray that it reaches whomever it's supposed to reach, that it uplifts, encourages, and confirms that which the Lord is speaking to you. Listen, this is a hot off the press word from the Lord. I told you all that I was going to upload a video that God put in my spirit a few days ago, but this literally just dropped in and i had to share it okay but no worries i will get the other message out today as well but i felt an urgency to get this one out right now transparent moment so i was sitting here i had just finished talking to my cousin my sisters and i was just ready to unwind and relax for the evening and out of nowhere bam thoughts of my kingdom spouse began to drop in my mind and obviously that was not a random occurrence but what caught me off guard is the type of thoughts that were running through my mind i was thinking things like okay lord i've received all these confirmations all these downloads all these things that allow me to know what you are doing in this hour your desires for me and your children so lord what's happening where is it and in that moment y'all the Lord is so funny. You cannot tell me that the Lord does not have a sense of humor. I began to hear that old Christmas classic. And I don't know the exact title. But the words that began to play in my spirit were. Do you hear what I hear? And then it went to. Do you see what I see? Do you know what I know? And it continued to play in my spirit. And I could do nothing but chuckle because I felt that all in my spirit. And I was just so tickled by the song choice. Listen, I should not be surprised by anything he drops in my spirit. But every single time I am. And what was even more comical is that as he began to run those lyrics through my spirit, I felt my eyes widening and I already have pretty wide eyes. But I felt like my eyes were super wide and I was really trying to see y'all. <laughs> I was really trying to see what he was saying to look at. I was so discombobulated by the strength, by what he was revealing to me and by this song that I really thought I was about to see something. I was like, uh oh, what's about to go down? <laughs> I felt him in the room, in my spirit, in my heart, and I felt such an urgency to see what he sees, hear what he hears, and to know what he knows. I wish I could describe to you what I was feeling in that moment. It was so strong. It was powerful. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, this is how I felt. I felt the strength of his knowing, his confidence, his assurance, the faithfulness that he's bestowing upon us. And I was able to draw from that. I was able to draw from the strength of his knowing to be able to see things from his perspective, through his eyes, through his lens, and to be able to hear what thus saith the Lord. Because guess what? The Bible says in our weakness, he is made strong. And he was indeed in that moment wanting to make himself strong in my situation. And he's wanting to do the same for you. He's wanting to be your strength on today. He said, Nikki. Nikki, do you hear what I hear? Do you see what I see? And do you know what I know? Listen, that just shifted the whole mood. And I pray that it did the same for you because God is wanting to shift some things. God is saying enough is enough. It's time for you to see what he sees. In the times where you are feeling weak, when you have question after question, when you're feeling a bit downtrodden, God says, draw from my strength, draw from the knowing that I have. I know what I said. I am fully confident in my power to fulfill it. I know that what I say is what it is. I know that what I speak regarding you can't do anything but be fulfilled. So God is saying, I got this. I just need you to have this. Draw from me. Stay steadfast regarding what I said. Stand on what I said. Don't allow the enemy or even your own thoughts to cause you to get worked up. Because listen, I am one who is, I'll say I'm pretty solid when it comes to just standing fast and hanging tight. Because I, listen, it wasn't always the case. It wasn't always the case. But the Lord has brought me a mighty long way, you all. And I know that is my testimony. I know that God has put me in this place of true contentment so I can offer other strength, offer you peace and to uplift your spirits. This has nothing to do with me and 
everything to do with the Lord. I do not boast in anything but the Lord Jesus Christ. So I have learned to trust his timing and to trust the seasons and to trust where he has me. So it's been great. It's been all good. But today, y'all, <laughs> today I was like, what in the entire world? I promise I felt like Arnold from different strokes when he would be like, what you talking about, Willis? That's how I felt. And God was absolutely not having it. He got me together quick, fast, and in a hurry and said, uh-uh, we have work to do. Get yourself together. And let me quickly point out that the Father definitely understands our emotional moments. He definitely understands the questions. He definitely understands where we are. But he does not want us to wallow in that. He does not want us to become weary, to become frustrated, and to just get all in a tizzy. Because let's be honest, bless our hearts, when we start getting impatient, frustrated, weary, we start acting a little cray cray. We start doing things that we know better than to do. We start trying to put our hands in things and making ourselves to believe that the Lord said do A, B, and C. And God's just sitting and shaking his head like, no, 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 no. That is not what the Father wants. And that is why he does not want us to get worked up and frustrated and all in our feelings. Because he knows where it can lead. And the Lord just had to say, listen, 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 Nikki. I need you to stay focused. I understand that you're an emotional being, but I need you to stay focused because it's right there. For whatever reason, the Lord keeps putting arm's length proximity in my spirit. The whole time I've been doing this video, I have been sensing that in my spirit and I've been feeling that urge to reach out my arm. And the Lord is saying, that is how close you are to this promise. Listen, this is not for everybody clearly, but for those who is for it, it will resonate in your spirit. Take it to the Lord and ask him what that means for you. Because listen, I'm just the messenger. I'm just telling you what he said. I can't always interpret what it means exactly to you. But I keep hearing that arm's length proximity. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place if you can. Y'all know how I am with these songs, but listen, I'm hearing now that the Lord is saying you are about to touch this promise. It is right there, and it's not a matter of if you two can make this world a better place. You will because God has brought you together for purpose. Okay, Lord, I see how you made it make sense. You are about to touch this promise. Listen, reach out your arm and know that it's right there. Your faith is your reaching, okay? Your faith is you reaching out. And the Lord is saying, it's right there. You're about to touch this thing. That is why I know that the pressure that we are all feeling, those who know that we are in our season of marriage, not even the season, but this hour, we are in that hour. It's going to happen any day. God's not just talking to get us excited. God is telling us what he's about to do because it's here. And he's saying, do not get distracted. Do not get thrown off. Do not listen to the voices. Listen to what I say. Do you know what I know? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? And so, you know, I had to go to YouTube and hear this song. And the first song that popped up in my feed as I typed it in was the Bing Crosby version, which I love. I like the sound of his voice. I like the old school feel it brings. And y'all, so many things stood out in this song. I felt it in my spirit. God was confirming things. And God was just wanting us to know. Do you know what I know? Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? But the one lyric that really stood out to me was this. Said the king to the people everywhere. Listen to what I say. Let me repeat that. It said. Said the king to the people everywhere. Listen to what I say. The father is wanting you to listen to only what he says. His word is what matters. His word is what is tried and true. His word is what is not going to return to him void. His word is the know all, say all. It is what it is. Don't you dare be looking at what you don't or do see. Don't be stressing out about the fact that you have yet to see any physical evidence of what the Lord has spoken to your life. Don't get worked up about if this individual is with someone else. I don't care what it is. The Lord is saying, listen to what I say. I'm the king of the situation. I'm the king of this. Another song tried to bust through, but I'm going to fight it. <laughs> but listen, the Lord is saying, I am one of this show. 
I am the captain and it is all about what I said. Let's look at some scriptures that just drive this thing home. Joshua 23, 14 states, Now I am about to go the way of all the earth. You know with all your heart and soul that not one of all the good promises that the Lord your God has gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. Listen, God is saying he cannot fail and he will not fail you. Not one promise that he has made to you will fail. Romans 4.21 states, And being fully assured that what God has promised, he was also able to perform. Basically, the Lord is saying he doesn't write checks that he can't cash. If he said it, he's going to do it. Luke one thirty seven in the Amplified Bible states, For no word from God shall ever fail. Are y'all hearing that? God is saying no word from him shall ever fail. It's impossible. For his word to fail. God's trying to tell you something. God's trying to tell you something right now. Right now. He's wanting you to know that his word shall never fail. And he's wanting to assure you get that deep down in your spirit. Because he will offer you a peace that truly surpasses all understanding. And it will give you the strength you need as you await this grand interest of the promise. Listen, I'm hearing this is about to be a grand entrance season. Prepare the way. And Jeremiah 1.12 states, Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well. Hear that, y'all. You have seen well. For I am alert and active, watching over my word to perform it. He is begging that you see well, because in seeing well, you will see that he is indeed alert. He is active. He is always in motion. And he's always causing things to shift and move. To call things to align to what he has promised to us. He will move heaven and earth if he has to. To ensure that the promise gets to you. He is hovering over his word to ensure that it is performed. And nothing can get in the way of that. I just thought I would give you a buffet of scriptures. Because I needed you guys to see how intentional God is, how he is bringing these promises to pass, and how he is not playing about you. Just like the rain and the snow come down and water the earth, the soil, so is God's word spoken out of his mouth. They will fulfill everything that he said. They will not return to him void, and they will yield fruit in its season and its time, and that is now. The Lord is wanting you to know that your promise is in full bloom it has budded it has sprouted it is now in full bloom and he wants you to expect and make room for this promise i pray this encourage you all i pray that it resonated in the spirits of those who it was meant for i pray that it edified encouraged confirmed and uplifted you and it stirred your spirits listen god is wanting you to see what he sees hear what he hears and know what he knows it is right there like i said earlier you're about to tangibly touch that thing and listen it is going to be a suddenly thing i can't stress that enough it is going to be a suddenly thing god's going to encourage you to not grow weary become distracted or frustrated because listen that pressure is strategic it's going to cause you to push this thing out and cause this thing to finally be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. So listen, you all, as always, take this back to the Lord and allow him to expound on this more. The father is always seeking to add more to what he has already revealed. This should indeed be confirmation to what he already shared with you, but he wants to add to it. So I will be uploading the word I told you all about in the other video. I was going to do it today, but this word had to be released first. So stay tuned for that. It's going to bless you because it truly blessed me. And know that I love you guys so much. Thank you for the love, the support, the kind words, all the goodness. Know that I'm praying for you. And until next time, be blessed. Bye-bye.